In a recent survey by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, catfish ranked only behind bass, panfish, and trout in popularity. Uh, their wide distribution, fighting abilities, potential size, table fare, and relative simplicity to catch make them a favorite among beginners and advanced alike. Uh, target, anglers will target several catfish species. Uh, like including the ever popular channel catfish, flathead, and blue catfish, as well as bullheads and white catfish. Uh, each species has unique qualities as a game fish, and the thing that I think is most attractive about the catfish is the potential sizes. Some of these are monsters. Um, now, they, there are uh, many details regarding catfish presentations. Um, it kind of depends on your water, uh, various, on the various waters that catfish inhabit, and so on and so forth. But they have remarkable senses. They can smell and feel things in the water as good, if not better, than any fish out there. Uh, they thrive in rivers, lakes, reservoirs, small streams, and all kinds of water conditions from clear water to high turbid muddy systems. And uh, they do exceptionally well in all of those systems. They have an exceptional smell and taste capabilities. They can detect minute traces of scents down to the parts per billion. Not million, billion. And that's why catfish anglers will use stink baits and other stinky... Uh, baits such as cut baits and uh, even some live fish. Live baits are smelly like shad. You know, shad have a really strong fishy smell and catfish pick up on that. They, uh, they also have real good vision in clear water and they can hear real well. They detect vibrations using their lateral lines. Now, when you want to go fishing, day or night, any time can be good for catfishing. It's not always nighttime that's best. Sometimes a bite can be excellent during the day, especially during cool and cold water periods that we're in, like we are in right now. Uh, and often during pre-spawn, catfish feed aggressively. Um, once the fish settle into summer patterns, though, many anglers prefer to go at night because catfish will... Uh, chase bait fish up into the shallows at nighttime in the good dog days of summer uh, but you can still catch some fish during the day let's talk species of catfish channel cats channel cats probably the most widespread member of the catfish family uh, they they're in all all rivers reservoirs and things like that and they're most commonly the ones that are stocked into ponds uh, pay pits and so on and so forth um, to fish for them freshly killed bait fish suckers shad they make excellent bait and they're also no anglers also known to concoct batches of homemade stink bait using cheese blood chicken fish parts and things like that um night crawlers don't forget night crawlers man they're they're not some of the top ones you know uh hot dogs cherry hot dogs chicken Cherry chicken, strawberry chicken, catfish eat a, a whole different variety of things. Um, that's one of the biggest things going on right now in the catfish movement is how great cherry chicken and strawberry chicken is for catfish. It's out fishing a lot of the live baits. You'll see Dieter Melhorn, Catfish Dave, uh, Kayak Catfish, all those guys are all run, ju running to the uh, cherry and strawberry chicken and they're... Uh, they're having a lot of success, and it's kind of blowing their mind right now. Um, to succeed in catfishing, sometimes it helps to understand their seasonal movements. Uh, they have a variety of habitats and rivers and reservoirs that they will live in. 
uh, in rivers, including small streams, they often make movements up spring, upstream in the spring. Uh, so you can find them below the dams and the riffles and other structures that might obstruct or slow movements. Tributary mouths, that's where a smaller creek enters a larger river uh, or two bodies of water will come together like a creek running into a reservoir or so on. Uh, that's also good spots. Any place where there's being sediment mixed up. In the summer, catfish can be found in deep holes, uh, in the streams and rivers, as well as mid-depth runs. You want to look at uh, bends of the river. Their bends are normally a little deeper, and uh, it holds fish, wood cover, catfish. This is pretty much across the board for catfish. Blues are a little bit different. Uh, channels and flatheads, they're pretty much very similar. Uh, any wood cover, any log jams or anything like that, you want to fish the current just in front of that, and that will pull those fish out of those log jams. Uh, and if you're not getting snagged, you're not fishing for catfish. Uh, they live around wing dams, other structures like bridge abutments and barge mooring areas that break up the current and create habitat diversity. Okay. Um, as waters get cooler in the fall, cats will move to wintering holes. Often that movement is downstream and sometimes considerable distances. Uh, in the south, they may reside in a shorter stretch of water year-round, okay? Uh, despite the cold, channel catfish can be tempted to bite in the winter as well as any other time of the year. Slip sinker rigs work well for catfishing. Uh, use those uh, quite often. You have J-hooks, and I think a majority of the people now are switching over to circle hooks for catfish. Um, they can be caught on the bottoms and they can be caught using a float or a bobber rig and uh, you can suspend baits just above a snaggy bottom or you can drift baits over a large area. Um, I suggest monofilament line 12 to 20 pound test is fine for the channel cats. Okay, Now, <laughs> flatheads grow large and they feed mostly at night. Uh, they prefer to eat live fish. Uh, fishing in and around down trees and tangled wood and deep holes and rivers. Uh, using large, sometimes over a pound, sucker, carp, bullhead. Uh, bigger baits like that will tempt flatheads into biting. Like channel cats, flatheads have seasonal movements, movements and it's basically the same. They go downstream for wintering holes during the late fall. Uh, they love cover such as wood and rocks, and they can spend up to 23 hours a day in a log jam or other cover spot. And they will leave that cover at night to go and feed. Flathead are typically caught at night, but not always. <laughs> Excuse me. Anglers fish for flatheads with two primary strategies. One involves fishing close to cover, while the other focuses on catching flatheads while they're nightly feeding. They're on their nightly feeding forays, which is when they come up into the flats. Uh, channel edges and other areas close to their daytime cover feeding on the bait fish that come up and feed on plankton and so on and so forth. Let's talk about some big blues real quick. Big blues are found in the rivers and reservoirs of eastern and southeastern and south central regions of the United States and they eat dead and live bait fish on the bottom. Uh, they are primarily bottom feeders. They can be caught in, in suspended water as well. Uh, feeding on open water bait fish like shad. Uh, top baits for blue cats include shad, skipjack herring. Uh, the recent giant blue catfish over 80 pounds have been caught on chunks of Asian carp, big head or silver carp, however you know them. Uh, depending on the size of fish sought, the whole bait fish or big old chunks of fillet uh, can be used. They love current. And in rivers, they can be found along channel edges, steep ledges, wing dams, shallow flats, and deep holes. Pretty much anywhere where there's structure or change of structures is where your blue catfish will be found. And as far as that goes, any of the catfish. 
Uh, they all, like I say, pretty much share the same habits. Uh, but even in midwinter, a few days of mild weather can draw them up to the shallows to feed. Um, because in colder water, they like to stay deep in the rivers down where most fish like to stay because it's just warmer water. They move seasonally, just like the other catfish. Uh, in the south, they don't move, move as much because the water doesn't get as cold. Uh, again, the same rigs. You can use slip sinker rigs. They're good for blues. Um, it would be advised to use bigger hooks, 8, eight nine, ten aught hooks. Uh, you want to use a seven to eight foot medium to medium heavy rods. Uh, drifting can be accomplished by using the wind and current to propel the boat and bait. Drifting is a pretty popular uh, technique for blue catfish. What are you, are you talking, talking about? about? Creek Beaters TV? That's, That's awesome. awesome.